Hey, what's up, stream keepers? Uh, welcome back to my channel. And I have taken a long pause in terms of making videos. And although I have been constantly, uh, you know, giving out, uh, you know, writing information on my blog, and uh, you know, sharing it, sharing all those information with you guys on a weekly basis. Um, but I thought, you know, uh, why not take this opportunity to actually reach out to more uh, breeders, uh, stream breeders that actually can actually benefit uh, from from all this uh, information. I understand that you know uh, that there will be people who prefer to actually watch uh, YouTube videos. So uh, for that case, so in that case, I actually wanted to take this opportunity to uh, do a video. And uh, if you like the video, uh, please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. So today, what I'm going to talk about is uh, actually the, the, the content that is already out there. Right. So I have also uh, offline got a few friends that uh, you know, have asked me regarding uh, you know, cycling of a tank. How do you really cycle a good tank? So I think the long and short of it is that you cannot rush uh, cycling of a tank because there can be fads, uh, there can be fads about, you know, you know, if you introduce this, you, you get a lot of, uh, um, you know, speed up your, 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 your cycling of the tank. Um, however, there, there will be uh, some setbacks to, to that as well. So today I want to take this opportunity to, to share with you uh, on the things that I, I believe uh, and what I've been taught as well uh, on how to actually, you know, cycle those tanks and, and make sure that the, the tanks are being fully cycled. So, so number one is do not rush uh, cycling of tank, right? Uh, and that, that is key, right? Uh, we, we cannot game science. Uh, we, we, you know, it's, it's difficult for us to actually, you know, try to add a solution here, a, a powder there, and then, you know, you know your tank will be uh, completely cycled. So, so that's, that's uh, basically the first, first thing is do not rush your cycling of the tank because a fully cycled tank, when they start to get established and mature, the tank will look absolutely ready for the streams to go in to breed, right? So a cycled tank does not mean that your, your streams will breed immediately inside there, right? So you have to actually take some time to, to establish them and then once they mature, your streams are, are more or less uh, very comfortable with it and then they will start breeding. So number one, do not rush uh, cycling of tank. Number two, okay, so if you are keeping carodinus, so basically most of us actually use uh, active soil, which means that it has the ability to you know, produce uh, ammonia, and that is critical. Do not wash away the ammonia uh, when you are starting a new tank, right? So for example, if you are using an ADA soil, uh, you you put the ADA soil in there and then uh, you just top up with water, uh, RO, DI water and then you start the whole process because the soil, the active soil actually uh, produces ammonia and that is what is required. So without ammonia, the tank will not will not be able to cycle, cycle right? So uh, if you're kept keeping curry dinners, you do not need to uh, dose additional ammonia liquid uh, all you have to do is that you know you just use the ADA soil or you use Tropica or you use any other active soil that you know uh, that, that actually releases ammonia. That is key. So once you have that soil in there uh, and the water, then it's really a waiting game. Right? So number two is the ammonia source. So there can be a lot of ammonia source that uh, you can use soil, you can use uh, you know bacteria powder, you can use uh, there's, 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 there's really a lot of, of them, including like Lupao and, and Calex Ball. You can actually put it in there because at the end of the day, you want ammonia. Do not be afraid of ammonia because ammonia is one of the key things that help the tank to cycle. Without ammonia, the tank cannot cycle well, right? So with ammonia, it has the ability to actually start the whole process so that you know, we, uh, the beneficial bacteria is able to convert from ammonia to nitrite and then nitrite to nitrate. So this is this is an important part of uh, the, the whole cycling process, uh, the ammonia source. 
So number one, do not rush uh, cycling. Number two, have an ammonia source, right? So with these two, and after 30 to 40 days, your tank start to cycle, right? Your tank start to cycle, and then you see that, you know, uh, your, your, your tank wall is, is very green, and then there's a lot of uh, algae, algae is uh, growing up on, on your tank wall and they, they look very unsightly and stuff like that you know um, that is where what I did uh, what I do differently is that I will add in like Ramson snails and also uh, microorganisms that I have established in other tanks All right so so in that case the uh, the Ramson snails and the microorganisms actually start to feast on those algae because there's there's no streams in there so they will start to feed on those algae and then uh, after subsequently after a, a couple more weeks uh, after the, the tank has cycled the tank actually looks absolutely clean you know uh, before that you know before I add in all those the, the, the snails and and the, and the microorganisms and, and, and stuff like that uh, the tank does look uh, cycled but it looks very sterile. A sterile in the sense that in that environment is not something that I would personally live in if I'm a stream, right? So so that's not something that I, I, I would like. So I take one step further is that I will start to you know introduce like uh, floating plants and mosses and plants in there. And and during that process, we actually get that uh, the microorganisms and, and, and things like that. So over time, it will build and uh, the whole ecosystem will then now be very comfortable for the streams to actually uh, to, to be in there and then start, start the breeding process. So you can, so, so uh, just to recap is number one, do not rush your, your cycling of the tank. Uh, number two, have an ammonia source. Be not be afraid do not be afraid of an ammonia source right if you can control the ammonia source uh, properly and appropriately ammonia is your good friend because ammonia is the food or you know ammonia actually provides uh, the beneficial beneficial bacteria the, the, the food source to actually uh, multiply so you need to have uh, beneficial bacteria in the tank um, so and the third one would be the the, the ramshorn snails and the microorganism so when the tank when it reaches about four to six weeks you know uh, it starts to look really really clean with uh, you know all the algae algae being you know uh, removed by the snails and and that um, i then then i would say that the tank is now really ready for uh, for the streams to go in Okay, so now in terms of the, the, the questions that I get, you know, uh, can I really supercharge my cycling process? I, I don't like to wait uh, 40 days. I don't like to wait even 30 days. I don't want to wait. I want it immediately. I want it, you know, I want my streams right there, right? Right there. And once I put in the, the soil and the water, I want the streams right, right in there. Um, so the long and short of it is that I would not uh, recommend that uh, for, for many reasons. Uh, the first reason would be that uh, from a long-term perspective, if, if you are going to invest in, in a high-quality stock stream, uh, going through the entire uh, cycling process actually helps because you do not want to risk your streams not being able to breathe. You don't want to risk um, all those investments that you have uh, put in uh, just because you do not want to wait uh, 30 to 40 days <coughs> right so so that's that's point number one so point number two that i do not really recommend uh, going directly into uh, putting the streams right right away into the tank is uh, is because the, the streams right you're gonna put it inside uh, an environment that is very uh, hostile right so chances of them dying uh, is 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 higher the probability is higher and of course you know uh, that there, there will be people out there saying that you know oh uh, um, I, I put my streams in uh, after seven days after I cycle the tank for seven days and I put my streams in and and they are uh, perfectly looking uh, okay you know they they are not in stress they are they are eating fine they are picking out uh, the, the biofilms on the on the, on the soil uh, however but we, we need to be, be, be cognizant about that while generally the streams may not be able to 
may may not feel the impact or the, the effect of uh, a non cycle of non fully cycled tank. Uh, however, we also do not want to share such information with uh, others as well because um, I understand that there, there are methods that you you can actually trick kind of like trick the uh, the, the the test kit. Right, right. You can use uh, any kind of test kit that's available on the market. You can actually kind of like trick them, um, and 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 I've known that you know people actually uh, told me that hey, uh, why after seven days I, I do not actually get any ammonia reading from my soil. Then so so that's where the question is, right? If generally if everybody uses uh, like for example an active soil that is brand new in a packet that you know you take it out you pour pour it in you fill it with water. After seven to ten days, you get ammonia reading, and then you start to get into the whole uh, whole cycling process, right? But if let's say after seven to ten days, after fifteen days, you still do not get that ammonia reading, then something is something is really amiss, right? Uh, you can question, you know, what what is what is wrong with the soil, right? Why is there no ammonia? And and if let's say you do not get any ammonia readings. You do not get nitrite readings because you do not have ammonia, and basically, if you if you start to put in like uh, plants and mosses and, and all that, when they start to decompose, you will get some nitrite nit nitrate reading, right? So so people will think that oh, actually my tank is ready after seven days, it is ready. So they put in the streams and they yeah, nothing wrong with my streams, you know, everything is fine. Uh, they are picking off the the biofilms like I said earlier, but the thing is. If you're gonna get very very expensive stock streams from Taiwan, uh, or from a very reputable breeder, um, and you want to risk that amount just because you do not want to have it fully cycled, I think the the whole idea here is if a person understands, so if a breeder understands the entire cycling process and he's willing to you know uh, risk it by putting it. The, the, putting the streams in uh, after seven days uh, I think that's that's entirely up to you it's, it's, it's a choice uh, however if it's up to me and uh, for the people that I have guided uh, I I do not I will share with them the, the the background of it and why are we doing it so I think the why of it is is very important right why do you want to cycle a tank right so so the, the the whole idea here is that once you put the streams in there right so if you have uh if you're gonna start a, a colony like uh, two males and ten females you want to start a colony in there you want at least for me you want your tank to be absolutely sure that the streams once they are in there they will start to breed like crazy right so what we are talking here is that we are talking about the high hybrid hybrid streams right um of course the 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 middle the middle grade ones or the the, the easiest uh, species the easier ones that uh, that that can breed quite uh, easily then I think you know uh, that's that's not so much of concern but if you are really looking at focusing on selective breeding you are you have spent uh, invested a lot of money in, uh, in in stock streams you want to cycle your tank properly because no matter what you do you cannot game the science of it because uh, if it's a fishless cycle, you know, uh, you put some ammonia in there. It takes basically forty days, uh, for for the entire tank to be fully cycled. Where whereby you know, uh, by the time it's day about day twenty, uh, your your ammonia would have gone down to zero. Your nitrites will start to pick up on 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 the day twenty, and then by the time, uh, everything goes down, it will be at the the, the forty day mark. All right. So then you ask, then you ask me, is there any special way to actually supercharge your 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 cycling process actually there are ways to do it so if you have an established tank right so if you have an established tank you seed the filter right so what you do is that let's say you have uh, two tanks right one tank is fully established and you have uh, very good streams in there and uh, they are breathing very well you have a sponge filter here so what you can do is that you can actually take out one of the sponge filter and then put it into the the new tank right and then let let the the sponge filter actually cycle help kickstart the, the cycling process uh, for you so that will help establish it much quicker uh, one of the reasons behind this is 
uh, there are already a beneficial bacteria that is actually in you know uh, that is colonized in, in the sponge so that actually helps to multiply and kickstart the, the, the process uh, faster so there are ways to do it so one of them is uh, you know I call it the tank tank seeding uh, another way is that you know some people like to use uh, take out the sponge from one tank and then squeeze uh, all those gunk right into the next tank and then you know it actually does help as well because you are actually uh, taking a lot of this beneficial bacteria and uh, seeding it into the new tank so that actually so uh, so what are some of the impacts that actually <coughs> you know uh, from cycling of the tank if, if you don't cycle it well enough what are some of the, 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 the observations that you can actually tell that the tank is not fully cycled is that it can be directly seen uh, from the streams right the streams don't really look so uh, active they are not uh, feeding as uh, aggressively um, then you know especially for female streams they they do not want to settle they do not want to breed they, they just want to get through that uh, the, that you know that cycling period and once they they get through that cycling period then they will start to actually look at uh, you know settling and, and uh, uh, you know being buried so another thing is that uh, if it's a poorly cycled tank, you can actually see that the stream sometimes they, they do hide uh, more often than not. So when they hide and you, they do not want to come out, um, that is also a sign of there's, there's something wrong with the water. So cycling a tank is not just about uh, you know, getting through that 40 days, getting through all those, but it's actually to set up, set you up uh, where the tank is established. You know, the water parameters, the hard values and the soft values actually uh you know make sense right so the hard value for example you want to have uh, your, your your ph in the right uh, water parameter settings you want your tds to be in the right right you know level you want your your gh you want your ammonia you want your you know nitrates and all that in in, in that perfect setting right so water parameters is the, the i call it the hard value that is just one set of values that that actually tells you that okay this tank is cycled but more often than not, we need to look at the other aspect of thing, which is the, the soft value of uh, cycling of the tank. The soft value is something that you observe, right? Observe things like, uh, are the floating plants actually uh, multiplying, right? Are the mosses actually multiplying? Are the plants actually growing? Is there sufficient microorganism in the tank, right? And, and these are some of the soft value that is often not measurable right it's either you have it or you don't have it but these are often things that uh, are not spoken about um, we often want to talk just about the hard value uh, or do you have uh, when when there's a, a problem with a stream tank people will ask oh what is your water parameters like what is your ammonia what is your nitrite what is your nitrate what is your ph your temperature and, and all that but but if we we do things if we do the cycling uh properly up front like for example you get all the hard values right first and then you consider the soft value of things where you get all the microorganisms in there the biofilm in there the hiding space the mosses are growing the the, the, the floating plants are multiplying this soft value actually helps uh, in the entire ecosystem right the soft value cannot go by itself it cannot be stand like a, a like a vertical the hard value Two cannot be stand like a standalone vertical. This two has to be you know synergized together so that the entire ecosystem is actually built upon uh, all these you know good good elements so that your streams can actually help to build uh, start to breed. So so what I'm trying to say is that you know uh, what is uh, a very very crucial and a very fundamental part of the the stream breeding uh, process and it's, it's actually the beginning of the start of you know uh, a successful breeding program so what i'm going to do now is that i want to show you some of my tanks uh, and to show you you know what constitute a, a, a really really uh, established tank so that when when the streams are in there they will start to breed so let's go and when you start to put streams into the tank, you can actually see that you know, the, the streams are really healthy and uh, they, they would really want to breed as well. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching and 
please let me know in the comment section below you know what kind of uh, videos you would like to see or what kind of information that you like to to learn from from me and i will gladly share uh, in my blog and in my uh, on on facebook as well so this is a special uh, video for all of you guys who have encouraged me to continue to work on the videos because there are quite a lot of content that is very uh, useful for, for a lot of breeders uh, around the world <clears throat> so thank you and peace out